Hey guys, what is up? I am doing a little fishing today and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do a Ned Rig. How I fish the Ned Rig. This is it right here. And it's one of my go-to baits this fall. So stay tuned, keep watching the video. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm gonna be throwing it on a bait caster here. You might wanna use a spinning rod if it's your first time. I like casting it with a bait caster because I can cast small stuff, but uh, here's what I got. It's a eighth of an ounce Z-Man um, jig head, specifically made for the Ned Rig. Got the uh, minnow version. I don't have the TRD worms. I'm just gonna tie a regular Palomar knot. Clip the tag in. There. That's what it looks like. Be sure to make this into like a V kind of thing so that it's weedless, but it's also easy for the fish to get a hook set. Got it? Let's fish. All right, here's our first spot. Let's fish this area right here. See if we can get a fish on. Fish on, son. Oh, if you're wondering what uh, setup I got, this is the Favorite Rod White Bird Series. It's one like uh, one rod uses. And I also got the Lose Custom Speed Spool. It's the white one here. Cass's uh, light lure is pretty good. Usually I just let it sit to the bottom, or sink to the bottom I should say, and just a little pop pop crawl kind of deal you know like a little bait fish sucking on the bottom there it gets that fish active to want to strike it i haven't any luck guys just trying to catch a single fish here there's a fish got a fish on finally a fish yes finally got a fish on Probably the little smallie I've ever caught here. Well, probably the first for smallie. Oh, that poked his eye out. Little smallie here. Good enough. Finally caught a fish. That's one on the Ned rig. Got him. He's a chunk. Look at that guy. Works in the fall. It's not a giant, but he's a good one. Good size. Let's uh get a quick photo. Alright. Let's uh pop this off him. Got this baby on the uh, Ned rig there. About to release him. Back in the water. Let's see if he jumps here. Nope, nope, he didn't jump. What you got to say? Ned rig, guys, it works. I'm teaching you how to use it. Yeah, buddy. There you go, guys. Just letting you guys know it does work. You saw me catch that fish. It wasn't the biggest toad ever, but uh, it was a pretty decent size, 14 inches. Maybe, maybe. We'll get back to fishing. Let's see if we can catch another one over here. Is that one? Got another one, dude. Another one. Oh, dude, it got off. Well, as you saw, it does catch fish. Let's try it again. Where there's one, there's more. That bait's just gonna sit straight up with that uh, mushroom head it has. So it'll pretty much do the action itself. 
it makes the bait stand straight up like this it's an easier target for bass to hit they come up right from behind it and swoop it up it's the same as working it as a jig if you're confident with the jig you can use this piece of cake to catch that finicky bass here in the fall fall season this is one of my go-to baits in the fall just one of them i got more so stay tuned for more of those videos this is why i have a motor guys the wind the wind is a beach Got him. Wherever this is, I got him. Oh, we see a small fish, man. I thought it was a big one. Well, as you see, it does catch dinks as well. There he is. Dinks. Dude, I got it. I got a big one, dude. Got a big one. Got a freaking toad. What is this? Oh, dude, somebody lying? No, oh, man. Dude's got a good one, son. Here you go, guys. I think that's a good one. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed that little tip on the Ned Rig. And be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Smash the like button. It'll help me out, and it'll spread the word about my channel. And also, Always remember to keep fishing for it.